Hello, sleepy waves. How are you doing? Speedy Gonzalez style. We got action. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today is May 25th, 2020, and we're doing a live stream open discussion on current events, news, politics, economics, finance, and whatnot. And there's a lot going on in the world. It's interesting times indeed. Okay, so we've done a lot of these in the last couple of years and we'll continue with the same format. And uh, while we wait for notifications to go out, I'm just gonna do my little intro because this video will be loaded onto YouTube and BitChute. And the audio for this, as we're recording on a lapel mic, will be loaded up as a podcast onto SoundCloud. So this is part of our decentralization process. And right now we're basically active, fully active, loading on content on three platforms being YouTube, BitChute, and SoundCloud. As well, we're active on a few other platforms as well. One of them being Discord, where a lot of people are sharing some amazing information. And of course, we're live streaming on Twitch. So as for the as for the intro, I am active on Patreon. If you want to support this project, Patreon is a fantastic way to support this project. OK, and the website is patreon.com backslash Chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. OK, and you can follow the work on Patreon. I don't put anything behind a paywall and after a while of following the, this work if you like what you see and if you do have the funds again it is a fantastic way to support this project to make sure that we continue to remain active and upgrade as the need arises okay we are live streaming this on twitch twitch.tv and .com should work as well backslash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e Okay, so if you want to participate in these dis discussions live, Twitch is where you want to be at. And if you are following on Twitch, well, following is a fantastic way to support this project as well as subbing. Okay, we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Twitter, Gabs, Minds, VK, and Elo, and all the links will be in the description of this video and audio. We do share additional content on those five platforms as well. May it be news, pictures, information, updates, and whatnot. As I mentioned earlier, we are uploading these discussions as podcasts on soundcloud.com backslash chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. So if you wanna follow the this work in audio format, SoundCloud is where you wanna be at and the announcements are also should also be going out to itunes and uh, stitcher i believe okay i think i set up that stuff properly so people can also listen to these podcasts through those well their favorite podcasting platform hello hannah how are you doing welcome to no live stream and as far as the video goes we are uploading this to BitChute and YouTube and everything goes on BitChute technical difficulties permitting and as much as we can get past the center sensors on YouTube we'll try okay and I'm not sure how long that's going to last because the sensors are becoming tighter and tighter and people are slowly leaving YouTube or sharing more content on other platforms than YouTube We'll see where it goes. YouTube still controls the majority of the video sharing platform online, but slowly I think uh, the numbers are gonna come down on them, okay? But if you are on YouTube, if you do like this work, becoming a YouTube member is also a fantastic way to share, uh, to support this project, okay? Aside from that, we're just gonna wait until notifications go out and people start rolling in. And whoever's here, whatever you wanna talk about, let's talk about it, okay? Sleepy Waves, did you ever write about the SWIFT system? The 
funds the international money transfer system not really no no i know about it uh, but i'm not uh, i don't know the inner workings of it i just recognize it as a node that is now being used as a weapon by the united states of america for sanctions and it has been for a number of years now uh, to prevent countries from doing international transactions and that was their their mistake to use it uh, use it as a weapon the there was an agreement that the united states would never use the dollar the swift uh, system as a weapon and what that has done is basically um, force countries to start finding other ways to do transactions and it looks like uh, chat is slow-mo so we're gonna take slow-mo off how do we take slow-mo off let's see if slow-mo off works Boop. chicho disabled slow mode for this room awesome we're back in normal speed sorry about the slow-mo gang didn't realize we were slow-mo i think on the last stream we had a lot of people pop in so we kicked it into slow-mo so we could keep up with everything uh we'll see what happens uh, in this live stream okay cozy tay chicho hello good to see you good to see you as well thank you for popping into another live stream grand prix how are you doing hope you are having an amazing monday chicho it's a sleepy rainy night in oklahoma much love much love much love grand prix and it's a rainy day it's been a rainy day here as well um i wouldn't call it chill i was quite busy today this is the last thing that i had on my plate uh to do today and i'm excited to do it i was looking forward to doing this uh but thank you very much dragons how are you doing i never got a notification you didn't get a notification okay maybe we'll go on discord and let people know we are live let's see what happens sometimes the notification goes out half an hour later sometimes the notification goes out after the stream is over catholic traditionalist how are you doing good evening folks working in the lab tonight so i might be lurking for much of the stream awesome glad to have you catholic traditions and i hope your uh, little getaway with the family worked out well uh the ozarks interesting graham how are you doing ahoy if uh, by the way if um, you guys are popping in you've noticed that the notifications haven't gone out please feel free to go to discord and do a little hi everyone chicho's live <laughs> i could do that as well i guess uh, but let me know if the notifications haven't gone out and uh, either me or one of the moths can take care of it uh, early chicho quick liqueur liqueur related question i uh, i folded some lemon uh, slices to fit them through the narrow bottleneck of of a, of a glass jug but now i finished the liqueur i have no idea how to get the lemons out okay did you only do one round of liqueur filling if you've only done one round put sugar fill it up again with vodka i've gone through or gin whatever it is that you're using the spirit you're using the lemons that i cut up from 10 years ago now probably uh, i've gone through multiple iterations of sugar and alcohol so you can do it again and again and again but make a note i've made that mistake early on at the beginning as well i don't really force unless i know i'm not going to be eating the fruit force fruit down narrow uh, tops of bottles right because you can actually eat the lemons as well right and they're really good so just make a note and uh, next time use the mason jars are the best you know those kinds of jars that have a t big top right spider-man how are you doing mander how are you doing hey chicho got the alert you were streaming wanted to jump in and say hello cheers bro cheers brother thank you very much for popping in glad to have you here so i guess notifications have gone out rainy here in missouri as well rain is good i like the rain but i love the sun so sam hit hey chicho long time watcher first time writer thank you for taking the time to be here and do a little bit of writing appreciate it and if you want to participate in the discussion we'd be glad to have you sleepy waves chicho weed is being legalized in new york city what are some ways to educate and jump in on the action early on in terms of investing is that what you mean sleepy waves thinking about how how all large wheat companies from other states are going to be ahead 
of the game and will be the only ones able to afford uh, licenses the kicker is how are they legalizing it right how are they rolling it out are they giving only licenses to people who've paid off whoever the central authorities are because that, that is something that does happen right so you have to look into it on that front are edibles becoming legalized as well or smoke dens i don't know new york i believe you can't smoke indoors either but is there going to be exceptions made there's a lot of ways to jump into it i would i would recommend looking into and there's tourism industry and whatnot but the tourism industry we'll see how long it lasts because it's it was sort of a novelty with tourism with uh, colorado and stuff right so we're getting a huge wave of tourists coming in in colorado just like amsterdam was in europe right but now a lot of states are legalizing so will people go to colorado for the tourism cannabis tourism when they can just consume cannabis in their own state or in their own city i don't know you have to look into it okay uh it really depends on how they're rolling it out that that's huge huge right mander hey i got the notification via discord okay awesome awesome good to know mander Thank you very much for that. Thank you, Chicho. Uh, thank you. Uh, I visit, uh, the visit went well. Left my elders to work for a few weeks on the farm. Nice. Working on the farm must be so uh, just grounding, eh? 10. Oh, man. All capital letters. Victim. I'm just going to call you victim. Man, I hate email notifications on streamers going live. So much spam. Is there? I don't know I have I get notified uh, from a couple of streamers that I follow two or three four streamers that I follow and I sometimes check them out I like the notifications personally right it depends how many people you're subscribed to right the problem is there were uh, raspberries in there too and the jug sat empty for a while the raspberries took a little uh, look a little uh, if they absorb the alcohol they're still good early okay they should still be good it depends how long they sat what you can do is just shake it and grab a raspberry and taste it if it still tastes like alcohol and it should then you're good to go man add sugar add spirit it should be good okay hey chicho how's it going doing well lions how are you doing worth core coronet thank you very much for the twitch prime sub appreciate it oh i gotta take these guys down man doop, boop, boop. all these websites i have i've totally forgot about that just reading the chat i get lost i get lost rain makes me depressed oh, i like the rain without the rain where would we be right spider-man thank you for the sub tech talk tomorrow chicho tech talk tomorrow sorry i can't remember yeah technology uh live stream tomorrow thanks for subscribing for sure uh dragons i thought it was uh just being decriminalized in new york city total legalization never made it through legislation okay cool and personally i don't mind decriminalization legalization depending on how it's being rolled out the state um captures it right they take complete control of it so all of a sudden they give out licenses to their own buddies right the multi-millionaires and whatnot and joe blow me and you are left out of the game right so it's a monopoly again like for example in ontario in canada right one of the top cops right like really this was a highest level cop in ontario that was prosecuting people for cannabis possession right and he was hardcore hardcore he was anti-cannabis he hated cannabis he hated anybody that consumed cannabis right this guy as soon as canada legalized it he had a change of heart and he got a license to open up a dispensary and sell cannabis right now as far as i'm concerned that guy that cop you can just imagine what me and millions of other canadians think about that person right we'll keep it nice and chill right but what a bunch of greedy hypocrites right wow just imagine living in that family just imagine being a part of that family this person that has destroyed thousands if not tens of thousands of lives where he was in power for multiple years right 
And then as soon as it becomes legalized, he smells the money, right? And he, and he has a change of heart and opens up a dispensary to help people, right? What do you do with that person? I know what I would do, right? I'm, per, I'm quite harsh about this, uh, this, this, these hypocrites that have destroyed countless lives who are jumping on the bandwagon because they smell the money, right? I'm growing my mushrooms. Finally, fifth attempt worked. First four were all contaminated. Yeah, mushrooms are difficult. They get contamination fast. Spores are everywhere, right? I made a mistake of opening up con contaminated bag in the house and spores flew all over my house in the trillions, in the trillions. Spider-Man, again, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Had to disinfect the whole home. The whole home. Good day, everyone. Good day, Pete. Oh, death. How are you doing, Graham? Expunging past convictions is key to legalization key to legalization right agreed with you Graham 100 percent I'll be lurking lurk away spider-man this is why I wanted to go into police for so much perks I have no desire ever to do damn that cop is an a-hole probably cashed in on making those weed arrests uh, knew a cop like this before many people have sleepy wave chicho i'm asking about legalization for investment purposes the logistics of how it's going to be rolled out in new york city is hard to say because it's too early on they just announced it because of the city budget's necessity however i am more generally asking for advice on what to look into for instance i know that you don't need to open your own shop to make money what other ways can you invest in the industry okay so sleepy ways for example covid 19 hit stock market crashed 30 percent there's one company that's based in nanaimo okay so you have to follow things in depth right there was one company based in nanaimo it's called tilray i'll put out the name right a year ago it the stock price peaked at 144 dollars right it was sitting around 19 18 17 dollars before covid hit when covid hit it hit bottom at two two fifty two dollars and fifty cents right so peak of 140 for 150 down to 250. now when we were doing the covid streams and stuff like this when the market crashed and whatnot i mentioned that i would be investing in cannabis if i was going to invest in any of the stocks and any of the markets right cannabis would be one of them right right now that stock is trading around ten dollars so you would have got quadruple your returns right 250 to 10. so what you need to do in these types of situations you need to you need to be on the ball right you need if if you plan on investing into this don't be passive right you have to be active that means every day you have to have some kind of news feed coming to you regarding cannabis legalization new york city looking at the numbers looking at the data don't make a decision instantly to go into something follow something for an extended period of time because you want to be in it for the long haul if you want to just flip then markets is the best way to flip okay just letting you know okay what uh did it oh okay it looks like someone got timed out thank you very much graham i was just going to mention if you're chatting away uh on the chat okay the best way to chat is not to take over the chat where you're constantly entering and writing two words and stuff like this think about your thoughts think about what you want to say right write it in a paragraph but within reason right and then share that discussion because what you want to do right now really there's a lot going on in the world a lot going on in the world right and if you're not actively consuming uh, accurate information right information that is not censored information that is coming from boots on the ground which is basically the people on chat because on chat what you're seeing is people from all over the world sharing their perspective right so if you're just here to spew or just to let loose 
and silence everybody else then that means you're not really here to educate yourself or to learn which isn't really the main purpose of these live streams the main purpose of these live streams are open discussion discuss discussion is multiple ways right i know i talk a lot through these things but i pick out the pick out the chat what's being posted and i read those and i try to share that information sort of in as coherent way as possible as i can and participate in the discussion right and i'm learning a lot from people sharing information right so for me we just learned or for us we just learned new york city legalized it or decriminalized it we're not 100 sure where we are with this right we're getting two bits of information so if you're interested in the cannabis industry if you live in new york you may want to look into this is it legalized or is it decriminalized what's behind the law when is it going to roll into effect are edibles allowed that is huge by the way the edible industry is going to be huge and right now it's just in its and the cannabis industry is in its infancy the edibles industry is in its pre-infancy okay so there's a lot at play here right there's a lot at play here okay what is it called the company tillery okay but i personally wouldn't it went to 250 down up to 10 right am i you know would i still be holding a 10 i would have dumped a lot of it from 250 to 10 right you guys are filling up the chat graham thank you very much uh, go talk to each other somewhere else or i may have to time you up <laughs> he was rolling yeah you don't segment messages don't segment messages only a child segments messages right i got cucumbers here today babe, for our snack i put a little salt on them cucumbers and salt are amazing snacks right What's the name of the stock you mentioned? Uh, True Tyro. It's Tilray. I think um, I can look it up for you. But seriously, I'm not recommending stocks, brother. And there, there's problems with that company, right? There, there's problems with that company. But when we we're talking about Wall Street, I would not be. Well, it depends on the thing, but because the only reason i mentioned that stuff before was people were talking about wall street if you're into playing a game and I, we mentioned that it was a trader's dream what's what's taking place right now is a trader's dream and that's why you're seeing billionaires making billions more millionaires making millions more joe blow losing their shirt because joe blow needs to pay rent right needs to buy food needs to take care of the family joe blow me and you don't have lawyers and accountants laundering money up the yin yang right to make sure they can flip 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 flop 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 do whatever they need to do right in numbered accounts offshores or panama or wherever it is okay you have to be realize your risk tolerance what are you what are you willing to risk how much pain can you take can you take the pain did you enter the game realizing what the game was right crap over i just want to ct dmv so is that connecticut uh, driver's motor vehicle branch or something to open up so i can register my car <laughs> cbd yogurt is coming out this month nice i got shafted investing in abc grampy i try to bro broaden my perspective and learn so much from you and this community medical marijuana is legal in oklahoma i think a bill to allow recreational use goes up for vote later this year cool very cool and it should be completely taken off the books cannabis is just cannabis it's like tomatoes really and people might say no 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 it's not as a drug everything is a drug right every, every food you consume has some kind of reaction with your body right you digest that food and that releases whatever it does into your body and you 
react accordingly, right? Sugar, coffee, caffeine, everything, right? CP waves. Chicho, I knew a guy once who invested in a weed dispensary company and made so much genius, um, uh, genius, a machine dispensary, but for weed things. Yeah, and there there are around, right? It's just like the dispensaries that uh, came out uh, for cryptocurrencies. The first ones ever were rolled out in my city, where where I well where I was before in Vancouver, right? Booksy governments bailing out the corporations instead of the people doesn't help us much either no they basically gave wall street free money okay like me and you don't have free money i don't know i don't know where you are but i don't get free money right i don't get free money that's worth uh, in the amount of multiples of what i'm worth right so their own people government the people who are passing these laws are getting kickbacks or they are the people in government right managing the what are we calling them bailouts i don't know i can't you can't call them bailouts it's handouts it's, it's theft they're taking taxpayer money and saying okay you get a few million here you get a few million here you get a few hundred million here you get a few million they pass it out all to their own people right interest free right on Un on you can do whatever you want with that money and then they walk away and they joe blow gets nothing right or bare minimum crumbs crumbs meanwhile if you're investing in something trying to invest in something right then what you're doing is they're inflating prices so you're dealing with inflation okay for example it should the stock market be sitting at 2420 2450 right now 24,500 right now or 25,000 right now absolutely not why is it sitting there because wall street got was given free money all right so what do they do oh they work for these companies they're the management and the ceos and stuff like this they got millions of dollars of free money what are they going to do r d research and development nah that's not going to pay off by the time they leave office right that's not going to pay off for them. They got stock options. They only get paid stock option when the stock price goes up, right? They get paid more when the stock price goes up a lot more. Right on, right on. They got free money. They buy the stock. Bup, 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 right? Stock rises. They cash out, right? And then the company slowly becomes irrelevant, right? Disruptive innovation comes out and takes it out. Just look into, by the way, if you think this is uh, hearsay, this is not the case. Personally, I've been following the markets for 20 plus years, right? But just look into how many CEOs, okay, resigned in the buildup to COVID. Just look into it, okay? And the CEO was the management that was resigning in the buildup to COVID. When they resign, there, when they get options and stuff like this, there's there's little triggers there where they say, okay, they can't exercise these unless as long as they're in office. When they resign, when they leave the company, they can exercise all their options, sell all their stocks, right? Just look into it. There's a game at play. Which side are you on? Do you know what the game is? What can you do with it, right? Do you really want to participate in that game? Governments bailing out corporations and stuff, people. Nope. ABC, Aurora Cannabis. Oh yeah, yeah. Is that the Aurora? Yeah, I knew some people that bought out a year, bought into the cannabis stocks a year ago, two year and a half ago, two years ago. I was telling people, don't do it in person anyway. Right? The hype train was on full speed, and that doesn't mean those companies are not gonna be going up to that level again they might be some of them will be right the cannabis industry is just in infancy but people paid a ridiculous amount of funds right they could have waited until it dropped 95 percent right just consider what amazon did right in the tech bubble and stuff like this it boot went up dropped down to three dollars 
right? In 2002, Amazon was worth three dollars. Apple was down to three dollars around two, three or five, three or five dollars, right? Three dollars. Amazon's 2,400 now, right? And people are like, "Oh, Amazon's garbage, garbage. They don't show any profits." Of course, they don't show profits. They got lawyers and uh, accountants up the yin yang fixing the numbers, right? If you buy the pot in California, then more than likely it's from Mike Tyson's farm. Yeah, the boxer really. He's in the business. Nice. I'm glad. I like Tyson. I like Tyson straight up. Too bad he got involved with some nasty people in his prime, right? Chicho, what's up? What's up? Lonely Piggy, how you doing? VC, how's life? Isn't social socialism fire? It's socialism fought for the corporations and crony capitalism for the common. Yeah, agreed. Com corporate socialism, 100%. Best wishes from London, Chicho. Thank you, Jack. Jack, less cover. Legalization or, or indeed decriminalization discussions are in their infancy over here. So I don't have much to contribute, but always enjoy hearing your thoughts. Awesome. And it, the odds are it's going to be legalized or de at least, well, decriminalized, at least legalized in most of the Western world in the coming years. Okay. People need to get control on, on, on the most rudimentary level. People need to have control over their own health, right? record on unemployment and loss of wages here in the u.s while the millionaires and billionaires in the u.s made 280 billion see if you see here's one thing people are quoting that but they didn't make 280 billion they didn't pull it out right on paper 280 billion it's probably more than that by the way it's probably tr like how much did the market drop i forget how many trillion uh, what was it they just got injected anywhere between four to t uh, four to ten trillion they've made a lot more than 280 billion there, there's no doubt about it right but it's on paper a lot of it on paper right so it's not um, you can't say they've walked away with it even though they have right uh, and it doesn't matter those numbers don't matter right the unemployment does and the united states is going to be in serious serious trouble graham you're busy today let me know brother uh, i'm keeping an eye i'm going to stay down in the low chat uh, so i'm going to stay up to chat gang okay uh, just because lots of troll action going on possibly you're fine okay brother okay brother Sci master you're still holding on to the stock yeah have you averaged down did you hit the bottom when it hit it right i just don't have a lot to say i'm kind of burnt out of current events yeah graham you know what i was talking with uh, uh elder god earlier when i premiered the video i premiered the music video this morning on youtube and let things loose and i was talking with him. i was like going man i wish we weren't doing a current events live stream today because i was a little burnt out of it as well but building up to it i got a little excited again right so it pumps me up just because there's so much insanity going on right like for example we're talking about current events one of the news fees that hit my radar in the last 24 hours 48 hours was you know we haven't got confirmation on this we got one or two news sources saying this but supposedly the united states government gave the orders for the military to firebomb f food crops in syria okay let me state that again right supposedly from we need to get confirmation on this right the united states government gave the go-ahead for the United States military to fire bomb fields of food in Syria. I hope everybody appreciates what that means, right? Now, if you remember, 
we've talked about current events for the last couple of years, and I mentioned that one of the strategies that the United States government, the military industrial complex, and both neocons and the liberals, the two party system, one party system, they're all for it, right? We mentioned that their foreign policy right now is scorched earth mentality, right? Scorched earth mentality says this if they're not able to take control of a region they burn it down right the united states military intentionally firebombed fields of food growing in syria we got to get confirmation on that but we got a couple of sources saying that that's exactly what happened The legend Smith, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well, Chicho. Thank you very much, uh, Meister, and welcome, Smith. How are you doing? Elder God. Lots of shorting happened before the announcement of the uh, pandemic. Yeah, some people made out like bandits. Some people made out like bandits, right? And the trillions came in, and again they made out like bandits. They make money on both ends. Crazy, eh? Crazy, eh? RJ push play hey Chicho this is my first time catching you uh, in in a chat love you man been watching your ASMR vids on YouTube for a few years now missed the comic calls sorry for being completely off topic. you're not off topic brother and thank you very much for popping in and I missed the comic calls as well <laughs> right I missed the comic calls as well uh, hopefully we'll get back into it right but as soon as this was going on we stopped buying right i stopped buying even though i wanted to buy some stuff some stuff was going pretty damn cheap for a few weeks there right so i was thinking about pulling the trigger but i didn't okay but we definitely will continue to do comic book hauls for as long as i'm able to which hopefully will be a long time right high end low end doesn't make a difference to me love comics you love both high and low right elder god i'm here but you're using that camera again so i'm audio only soundcloud listeners will love this ah nice sounding good good stuff good stuff okay elder god yeah the camera it should be the same camera i'm using as uh well i got two versions of it but it should be the same camera i'm using uh on the math ones as well let me see what this is yeah it's the same one brother same setting on them i'm just checking it yeah same setting on them same setting on them graham that's the thing all of us here understand things are crazy but we're just not seeing much done about it we talk about this stuff on my stream too what else do we do right now who else is talking about this stuff i just feel like no one has their ears open there's a lot of people that are lost right now graham i agree with you okay there's a lot of people that just got sidelined right there's a lot of people that were living in a bubble right both on on every spectrum right may they be they were corporatist they were propagandists they were working in government they were joe blow they were farmers they were hippies they were they were uh bad people good people everybody was living in their bubble and very few people saw this coming right boom sidelines all of a sudden everyone sort of just goes wait a second what okay what what do you mean going to the grocery store is difficult things are sold out i can't get my hands on this i can't go out i can't do this i can't work i can't pay my bills my money got cut my healthcare got cut all the stuff got cut all of a sudden those who have kids look at their kids they go oh my god the world is not as it appeared to be and if this thing is going to play out like this oh the world is a lot worse than what i thought it was right and what have i done for the future of my children right there's a lot of people right now realizing it's hitting them now right that the next few generations uh if things progress the way they are the next few generations are in serious trouble in the western world anyway 
and certain other parts of the world as well. So what are we going to do about it? What are we going to do about it? Right? Some of these people are saying, okay, oh, the stocks are low. We're going to buy stocks. Right? Now, if you got extra money, you want to gamble, sure, do what you need to do. But if you're putting your children's future in the stock market, it's the stock market that did this to your children and to you, right? Why would you give them more money? Okay, so people really don't know what to do. Uh, I, I appreciate this, but we've talked a lot about this, this stuff before, right? Food security, health, education, housing, first priority. Make sure your communities are stable to be able to deal with shock. You know, you call it black swans if you want, but this isn't a black swan that wasn't people weren't expecting it. Everybody that knows how this current economic system works knows that every seven to 10 to 12 years, there's something that happens that sends the world into a frenzy, right? And tur turmoil. Oh, wow. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Panic mode, panic mode, right? And then you have the powers that be siphon out more money from the general coffers inflation hits all the stuff happens so this is a cyclic thing that's going on a lot of people saying we've never seen anything like this yes we have right yes we have it just happens to be an order of magnitude more than the previous one right well in the previous one people said if we don't take care of business right now we don't fix the problem right now the next one is going to be one or two orders of magnitude higher well guess what that's exactly what happened oh gee okay if we don't fix the situation now guess what the next one is going to be one two three orders of magnitude higher than this one what's there not to know about the system right Da, 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 da. no the first time they have done that paging vietnam paging vietnam right dragons chicho i've been meaning to ask for a while why are you uh why are you against travel uh i wouldn't say i'm against travel i did a lot of traveling in the past but for me uh, just uh, there's multiple reasons for it really first of all i i was traveling at a time where it was quite easy to cross borders right you didn't have to deal with police states everywhere right my first taste of a police state when traveling was in europe right when i went from ireland to northern ireland and not only there like you know i was i was scruffy looking i had uh, whatever and i looked uh it was towards the end of the summer was traveling in europe and i looked middle eastern so certain countries i went to i had police come up to me and say passport right so i was like dude like what i never had that happen in canada united states passport what are you guys talking about with machine guns right and i went okay europe is pretty draconian as far as i was concerned i was back in 98 right so i traveled enough in canada united states traveled united states a lot went to um, mexico caribbean uh, whatever right i traveled a fair bit in canada united states but as soon as patriot act was passed i went to the united states two more times after the patriot act a couple of more times two or three more times three or four more times to see concerts see friends and whatnot but the patriot act kick-started the united states down the road of fascism hardcore right what you see right now is in large part as a result of the patriot act people are out in the streets in the united states protesting the lockdown i don't see americans every six months every year every six months i think the patriot act gets renewed doesn't it? every six months a year two years whatever it is it gets renewed every few months in the united states i don't see americans protesting on mass saying hey we're a republic why is it why you guys keep on passing the patriot act what do you mean you can do surveillance without wars lock up americans torture them and no one held accountable why aren't americans protesting against this once i realized that the the masses in the united states didn't really appreciate what just happened in the united states i decided not to travel to the united states again 
Okay, and that was in 2002, by the way. That was the last time I was in the United States. So I'm not against travel per se. I'm against traveling into countries that they can do whatever they want to a human being, right? So in Canada, I'm a Canadian, right? So I have certain rights here. So I refuse to travel to anywhere where I have less rights than I have here right and there's only a few countries left that you can travel to right aside from that uh i i really don't think it's uh environmentally uh feasible for all this travel to happen okay aside from that entheogens once you travel in the realm of entheogens and cross the stars and converse with other beings going to rome and having pizza is just not the same <laughs> right it's just not the same okay i can see you but it's lagging so bad oh i'm sorry elder god but audio is okay and i can use google easier for searching okay awesome elder god sorry if i went off on that i'm sort of behind on chat right now gang uh sleepy waves uh people are just looking for an easy comfort way out to invest they don't want to gamble with decentralized alternatives because they aren't that creative to be honest well time to be creative gang right the world has changed and this is all not negative right there's a lot of people looking at what's going on saying oh it's all bad oh, no there's a lot of amazing stuff happening right now there's a lot of positive going on right people are looking at decentralization looking at food security looking at their neighbor looking at the power of government looking at all these things going on there's light shining on a lot of bad in the world right people are waking up this is just the first phase of people waking up stretching going wait a second wait a second things are going to be rolling out in the next few years that are going to make people's heads roll really the our societies are about to go through some major changes hopefully in my opinion i think things are going to go positive right but we have to be proactive in that we can't just sit back and let the one party in the united states decide everything or wall street decide everything or corporate decide everything or technocrats decide everything we need to start holding power accountable okay weekend at barney's how are you doing welcome to another live stream chicho i need your advice as a college student student i'm having severe trouble finding a part-time job i don't know why it's hard to get the attention of empl employers for even when i was three years of experience in consumer services and office work what can you suggest for me to do even during these times better to be able to land uh even an interview uh weekend at barney's job market is going to dry up in my opinion hard and fast my recommendation to like if you can land any job right now do it really uh, you know i'm not talking about amazon and crap like that i'm talking about any job that has at least a minute sense uh, opportunity for advancement to a certain degree or if you need to land a job to be able to pay the rent buy food stabilize right that they're not taking advantage of you putting your health at risk and abusing you right so don't go into those types of jobs just make sure wherever you're going to get a job whatever you're going to land is the employers uh, they're not abusing you right your health is not being put at risk because that the long-term repercussions of that the cost that is going to be to you is going to be tremendous right but right now if the job market is dying off you have to appreciate that there's a lot of little disruptive innovation popping up so the question is where do you live what do you see around you happening that things are changing right where is there opportunity for you to start doing some work now this might be you starting something on your own right there's a lot of people that are that really don't know what to do right um what's one of the examples I'll, I'll give you a simple example for example you know i walk around my neighborhood i've seen 
there's one place I know, one house I know, masks were in demand, right? So for the last three months, right, two two months at least, I've seen them. This house, they've put up signs in front of their house, right? And after work and on the weekends, masks for sale. So they're making masks at home, right? And I've seen people lined up to go to their house to buy masks, right? And they were charging $15 a pop, okay? Now, if they have a sewing machine, they can get the fabric cheap, right? And if they have a little bit of seamstress abilities, they uh, making $15 a mask, okay? I'm seeing some note here. What are we deleting, gang? Oh, ground took care of it. Okay, I just saw the chat pop up, so I came up uh, just to see what was going on. Thanks, Graham, for taking care of business. Okay, uh, I'm sorry if I sort of long-winded answered that thing. Uh, I don't know where you are. I don't know what's at play. Uh, the food industry uh, is going to be in demand. There, there's going to be people wanting certain types of things. Like what you can do, by the way, you can make preserves. You're coming into the summer right now. Do you know how to handle food? Do you know how to make preserves? Do you can you can you make yummy food? Start making jams and preserves and stuff like this. Stock up, right? Start selling homemade jams and preserves if you can, if legal in your area. I got my staff check again. Sending government funds to my team tomorrow. Awesome. You're taking care of your employees, Elder God. That is fantastic. Bugsy, it's a scary time on too many fronts. My biggest fear is there's not much hope for the youth in terms of lack of stable employment lack of affordable housing looming climate catastrophe government governments show no interest in even talking about the issues and lack of hope is a very dangerous game indeed indeed generations coming up they're they're being sacrificed right so what we need to do we want, we, need, we need to make sure that they're educated in on two fronts mathematics and natural language english or whatever your natural language is right they need to be able to communicate if they can learn programming learn programming right because you need to be online right i don't care what you're doing you need to be have some kind of presence online right is it just your resume what you've done like one of the things you need to do I don't know what level of job employment your people are looking for right if you're looking for entry level jobs those entry level jobs are going to start disappearing right so on the front of people not being able to get a job people aren't going to be able to get any experience and coming out of our centralized education system our centralized education system in the western world anyway really doesn't teach work ethic right it teaches obedience right so kids coming out of school right now most majority kids there are some kids coming out that they have a really good work at that but they're few and far in between right but just imagine the majority of kids coming out okay 16 17 18 years old they don't have any work experience they really don't have a actual real life work ethic built up in them yet and they can't get into entry level jobs right may it be construction real uh, uh, retail food industry service and whatever it is right because there's a lot of restaurants that are going to go under okay big time and the service industry is one of the ones that was giving a lot of experience to people right and free money and social activity and stuff like this so they can't even get the experience they're gonna feel the strain of that right after a few years they're not gonna have an experience and they're older if if or i should say when the market starts picking up again they're going to be left behind right so it's up to you if you're in that situation right now to build up your resume online that means create a website learn whatever languages computer languages that you need to know or software it doesn't make a difference right like learn how to photoshop learn how to edit video learn how to edit sound learn html learn java learn some kind of programming right learn photography learn how to shoot video right learn about lighting okay learn how to write a script learn how to edit 
learn how to read and write properly learn how to analyze analytics data right these are tools you should be accumulating right now if and the odds are your education system your centralized education system hasn't taught you that stuff and if you're not taking the time to teach that to yourself right now you're foolish learn it do it and this doesn't mean this doesn't apply just to teenagers that are in high school or coming out of high school this applies to 20s 30s 40s right is a sales market still going to be there one of the biggest industries in the world is a sales industry right salesmen and stuff like this is that still going to be around what happens when a lot of industries die off right things are going to go on the open market for a cheap cheap right everything going online keep all of the stuff in mind a lot of technology is related into this as well right automation has a huge role to play in this we did our personal finance videos that we put out in our personal finance playlist we talked about automation it's gonna it, it's like a huge game changer okay the traveler of westerners also ruins developing countries in africa and south south america the governments build infrastructure for for foreigners before their own people because of money because of money and housing gets bought out and uh you know people who live there can't afford to live there right but tourists can come and spend five months four months out of the year there okay i have way behind in chat okay gang i'm going to scroll down if there's anything directed towards me please let me know i'll read it again i'm going to try to catch up chicho what is your stance on justin trudeau he's just a, he's just a puppet trudeau's just a puppet right miro it's just a puppet better puppet than harper harper was horrendous the the damage harper the conservatives did to canada I mentioned this in my blog post from 10 years ago okay and i mentioned this before it's going to take decades to undo the damage the conservatives did to canada just imagine canada could have been the first country in the world to legalize cannabis if if you were following the data you knew what was going on you knew Canada cannabis was going to become legalized right the liberals at the beginning of 2000s they talked about it the conservatives came into power they went hardcore on criminalization of cannabis they prosecuted so many people so many people one of the cops that we talked about they were the conservatives doing this right they were prosecuting people up to yin yang prevented just imagine an, an industry that is in its infancy canada could have been on the forefront of that right could have been on the forefront of that how so canada was considered a drug what was what's the u.s stand, uh, thing that they have for it Dr drug supplying nation at the same level as colombia right marked on the same level because of the cannabis industry that we have in in british columbia specifically at the time but all of canada right the hydroponics and stuff like this canada was on the forefront of this rollout that's taking place with the decriminalization legalization the cannabis industry right the harper government the conservatives those lunatics they set us back how far did they set us back they set us back a decade just imagine if you were able to get a decade head start on everybody else regarding an industry that is a multi hundred trillion dollar industry that is going to be rolled on next couple of decades and you had a decade head start on it right unbelievable and these guys killed it anybody that says the conservatives are fiscally responsible they know how to manage but budgets they know how to do all these things is talking out of their ass okay they're ideologues they follow their dogmas and they will burn the earth to the ground to prove a point that they think they have okay horrendous so is trudeau trudeau's just a puppet corporate puppet right but at least he's not a fanatic right which is what the conservatives were they're fanatics and never support fanatics never support fanatics they will burn the earth okay sci master we turned out uh for sopa pipa and that worked 
but they just ended up doing all that stuff anyways yeah they did right the clown says some shops uh shops of the clown this is uh boris johnson right uh the, what do you call it in the uk the clown says some uh shops will open from 2nd june but only COVID safe venues like outdoor markets and car car showrooms Man, talk about crazy you really think you have more rights in canada more rights i'm a canadian citizen i have more rights in canada than i do if i go to the united states if i go to the united states i don't have rights in the united states i'm a canadian citizen yeah you have more rights in your own country than you do in someone else's country uh wazus uh, there's no doubt about that right that's why people were scrambling to be able to get to, back to their own countries right when this whole COVID thing hit right you have to have massive turnout every single time congress tries to pull some shit but they only have to succeed once but they only have to succeed once right they burn people out they burn people out that's why you have to have you have to hold power accountable that's what we need to do and that's why wikileaks is so important right graham which is why it is uh, paramount to gather together and discuss solutions no one comes no one has their ears on people want to stay willfully ignorant it's the american way to let the world disintegrate around you while mowing the grass and buying your gadgets and expensive sunglasses uh graham i'm not as negative as you okay i understand why you're negative because there's a lot of ridiculousness taking you know taking place right now but i'm not as negative as you i think there are a tremendous number of americans working overtime and behind the scenes rolling out certain things that are going to be rolled out in the next few years that we're going to see okay occupy wall street didn't die right when obama synchronized the crackdown of all the protests overnight right they say they didn't but of course they did right it, you you got you have to have again your head up your ass to not appreciate what took place right so they took them off the streets and that sabotaged the protests on the streets right they sent the homeless they sent the drugs they sent this they sent this right but a lot of those people became aware and they took action right they changed their behavior they built platforms they appreciated what free speech meant what censorship meant what privacy meant what everything meant what the economic system meant what wall street was what the bankers were what the politicians were right they all understood so there's a lot of positive going on and we're seeing in at least a couple of orders of magnitude more than that happening right now right the theft is a couple of orders of magnitude more than happened 2008 right no doubt about it but so is the awakening i think the awakening is a lot more powerful now than it was then okay and i'm not talking about people protesting wearing masks and not wearing masks i'm talking about people looking at the economic system going you people wow you did it again no mercy right sleeping with all god i'm pretty sure it's your connection Doo -doo. have you ever tried amanita mascara mas mas i haven't tried amanita mascara because you have to boil it like three times and stuff like this i know people who have but why go with amanita mascara when you can get brazilian cubenzies right or in we live in the pacific northwest in canada united uh, wash oregon washington British Columbia and Yukon this area is called the Pacific Northwest we have the highest concentration of magic mushrooms in the world right so uh, they're safer alternatives have you ever tried that uh, sleepaways no it's my mobile to, uh, to, uh, 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 uh. off topic my grandma made blackberry cob cobbler and homemade vanilla ice cream tonight it was fantastic nice grand prix I highly recommend any cobbler chicho if you have never tried it i've tried it and i've had exactly what you, i blackberry i don't know if i had blackberry i've had apple and uh rhubarb with ice cream 
I have home homemade vanilla ice cream I've had for a long time, man. By the way, gang, thank you for the subs. Thank you for the follows. Apologies if I'm not staying up with that, but appreciate it very much. I don't most people. I don't uh, think most people can even comp, comp, contemplate how quickly and broadly change will come post lockdown. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna freak people out. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down, gang, just to get caught up with the chat. Um, ba -ba -da 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 -da. if there's anything directed towards me please let me know catholic traditionalist i would also say learn how to grow and raise your own food yeah learn how to build up and maintain your property great advice catholic traditionalist and take that advice to heart gang right know how to forage right do you live in a place where there's nature around learn how to go find fruit trees Go, like seriously there's fruit trees all around the forest right you know how to make a map go down trails right in the summer and make note of where you find fruit trees and go harvest i do this every year every summer i go harvesting for fruit a lot of the jams and uh, food that we've made or some of the ingredients that we use in the foods that we make I've harvested either from the, my backyard, someone else's backyard, as long as they allow permission, or from the forest, right? I go and harvest food. It's free. It's organic, right? As far as I know, and you can make preserves with it, right? And growing your own food is, is a must. You need land for that, unfortunately, but you can grow a little bit of food just in pots and stuff as well. And once you start slowly doing that, it it's more than just the food it keeps you healthy it keeps you aware of what it takes to grow food right you bend down so you get more flexibility you're not sitting behind the computer constantly right or you're not in one position constantly you're moving around you're lifting things construction is not a bad thing right the eddie g evening chicho are comics on hold while all the world's madness gets straightened out to a certain degree brother i've been catching up on my readings i have like i've been a sort of you know the positive of not buying comic books because they weren't shipping right they just started shipping last week i went to the comic book store a couple of days ago i found that they were open i went there just there was a couple of comics you could you know not everything shipping so i grabbed like four comics i think that were in my pull box right but I've been going through my stack of readings, right? But slowly, I think we're going to kick back into doing some comic book hauls and stuff like this. I miss them. Uh, Clive Thomas, hi, 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 Catholic traditionalist. While I ensure that my children learn mathematics, language, history, economics, philosophy, etc., I also ensure that they are learning farming, woodworking, welding, cooking, sewing. Nice welding serious business catholic traditionalist cooking for sure if you have kids teach them how to cook teach them how to sew so important i sewed a button the shirt i was wearing uh during the what do you call it the music live stream i sewed my own button on there oh button was missing i gotta fix it up for the live stream unfortunately it was a different color button but it was a button i had sewed on my button right do a little sewing woodworking know how to use a drill know how to use a hammer know how to build something like this thing behind me this bookcase i built it right i went to the lumber uh lumber store i did my measurements i bought my lumber i bought i had the screws i had the drill i had i had some tools right and if you don't have tools by the way you can get tools on the cheap cheap look in your paper online if you still get paper look in your online craigslist or whatever it might be there's garage sales happening there's people that have tools uh generally older people trudeau is a fanatic Ju social justice warrior. he's just a puppet he's just a puppet they're using social justice warrior stuff to pass laws but he's not a fanatic like harper harper was a pure fanatic and so was his party all of them they're, they're fanatics okay vc that's a good chicho gram i don't think i'm that negative i believe greatly in uh, our youth uh you know i believe in triumph of the human spirit but i just 
don't see a lot of spirit that people can use to triumph uh, as the saying goes Graham is as dark as before the light right um, I see I'm seeing a little different uh, from my students uh, I know they're facing trouble right but I my uh, my clientele is a little bit different than yours right mine is private um, and I do get students from schools and I do work with underprivileged kids I work with kids that are on the spectrum I will work with I work all over the place right with very well off and stuff like this I see the same on all fronts right Jacoby how are you doing hey Chicho haven't caught a stream in a long while haha -ha. I took you up on your Dune recommendation. I loved it. Looking forward to reading the next ones. I got into Uni 2. Gonna be getting a bachelor's in artificial intelligence. And we'll see where that takes me. Oh, dude. It sounds like you're on a, on a nice ride, Jacoby. I'm glad you love Dune. I haven't read the other ones. I gotta read the other ones, man. I don't know why I haven't. There's so much to read, so little time. As for AI, you're getting into AI? Dude, you're on... The right track as far as i see it hey how's it going rithias how are you doing dune is incredible indeed indeed hey chicho first time chatting the stream casper official how are you doing oh casper official welcome to our stream rithias chicho i'm at the end of my rope and it's hard to find anything that matters how so why do you have such a short rope if you're at the end of your rope jump to another rope why are you at the end of your rope that's very general is it because of relationship because of funds because of money because of education because of family because of draconian centralized power because of the economic system because of health uh end of the rope could be many many things yo boy tubby yo hello 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 how are you doing my wife is the only important thing to me that's fantastic you have someone that's very important to you there are people that don't have anyone that's important to them so i don't see how that could be end of your rope work money everything else it just seems so uh vapid well there are alternatives there's so many different things popping up right now brother right there's so much going on maybe you just need to chill uh, end of your rope could mean that you need to just relax right move slow and i really mean this don't become a reactionary right if there's stuff happening people freaking out don't freak out with them analyze observe what's really going on listen to different uh, perspectives take on something right so for example if you're following uh let's see you said work money everything else work money everything else if you're following financial advice right so let's assume you want to know where you should find a job right which place you should go to right don't just have one source telling you what the next future big thing is going to be listen to people from different spectrums listen to people who are socialists listen to people who are communists listen to people who are anarchists listen to people who are libertarian listen to people who are neoconservatives liberal listen to people who are don't believe in centralization listen to people who do believe in centralization listen to wall street take take a look at all of their perspectives and this is going to take time this is going to take time if you're at the end of your rope you got nothing better to do might as well take the time to educate yourself on these things look at all those things and look at look at the reason why it is they say you should do this or this is the good thing this is going on this is going on right once you listen to something if, if it makes sense to you start thinking about do you want to participate in that system what's it going to take to participate in that system now if you need to put your life savings into a new system that you think might be good don't do it right don't do it if there's someone telling you this is the only way and it resonates with you but you need to sell everything mortgage everything do whatever you need to do and go all in don't do it right follow that system look at it see what it did or what it does or if you can participate with little funds don't risk everything on one thing right that's one advice i can give you 
I don't buy lumber. I steal trees. Haha, <laughs> Smith. Boogsy, agree with your thoughts on awakening. What I find interesting is the American government passing constant legislation, which is inadvertently growing the awakening. Yeah, because they're fearful. The, but look, I can honestly tell you this. Centralized power is scared shitless. Okay, they are. That's the reason they're passing all these laws, right? What will happen once their enforcers, the policing agencies, the military and stuff like this, they realize that they're being given orders to enslave, to kill, to brutalize their own people, right? What's going to happen? Right? Will they follow those orders? Yota, you are certainly not the first person to recognize that Chicho has a pro 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 professorial air <laughs> Hilarious. Do I? I don't mean to, really. Such negativity this evening. I'm so glad I'm always happy. Awesome Elder God. Catholic tradition is all is well and all is well and all manner of things are well. I'm with Catholic traditionists. I'm positive on things. Look, gang, I can honestly tell you, I haven't been this positive on, and I, I can honestly tell you, I haven't been this positive about what's going on in the world as I am now. And I've been blogging for 15 years talking about politics, right? I've been following the stuff hardcore for a number of decades now. The positive aspect is not the chaos that's taking place. The positive aspect is the questions that people are asking. The obvious scam that's taking place, right? People are waking up. That is the most positive aspect of what's taking place right now, right? Huge, huge, huge. What we do, what we do with that, we'll see where it takes us. Jackals Culver, the sun is coming up. It's 4:10 a.m. GMT, and I'm watering plants in the lettuce garden as per your recommendation. Awesome awesome growing lettuce is so easy and so delicious right and kale grows all year round right that's your greens right losing hope is the worst kind of death losing hope is the worst kind of death graham chicho sorry i was not clear it's not a lack of spirit in my students that can be worked out but adults people that make decisions if the people that make decisions don't have much spirit left they make com compassionless decisions uh, Graham that part I agree with you there's a lot of people in the system that are dead right they're still walking around they're still living their lives they're still doing working eating pooping right dreaming maybe right but for all intents and purposes their soul is empty right they sold their soul for money a long time ago I don't care about them right they're only going to be able to make decisions for a so much a certain while longer right as the saying goes in science we don't get scientific developments or new understanding of how things work by people introducing new theories we get it by the guards dying right time takes people out I'm not concerned about those people those people like a hundred of those people couldn't really prevent one woke teenager from doing more to improve our society than they do to create the damage, right? So they're not worth their weight in gold. The youth are, right? Those in school, coming out of school, they're worth their weight in gold what they can roll out in our societies can undo the damage that they have done right or eliminate their business model okay now i'm not talking about the youth that get hijacked and they're shaking hands with the bankers and going and talking with the politician i'm not talking about that youth i'm talking about the youth that's rolling out disruptive innovation i'm talking about the entrepreneurs i'm talking about the youth that's the saying you know what i'm not going to participate in your system right you hold no power over me 
right? I'm talking about them. <laughs> Brando hits. Don't lose hope and Chicho chill. <laughs> oh, they got Chicho. Fair enough, brother. Okay, Ruthias. Apologies if I was a little harsh, right? We need Mr. Rogers in these trying times. Elder God, fear is the mind killer. Don't fear your government. No, your government should fear you. Hope is commodity. Catholic traditionalist. Chicho, exactly. The code above by Ju Julian of Norwich, by the way, is my intent, is not intended to show an, uh, an ignorance of the problems around us. Rather, it is to express hope in our ability to preserve nice the blue pills that's what i call the slave race what slave race i'm missing something surely nah he's talking about nonsense da, 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 da. Ba, ba. great to hear you're doing well chicho ah jackless culver life is a beautiful gift and it's refreshing to see positivity at at these trying times indeed and uh, it's coming there's more and more people going to have it right life is but a dream bill hicks da, da, da. That's boop, boop, boop. nice i caught up to the stream uh chat i'm just going to scroll down and read these uh vc people are conditioned to be like that because the media wants people to not look around and see the truth please don't talk about others as a lesser race yeah and i can honestly say that uh if you're consuming corporate propaganda media stop right i don't care if you're using it to uh analyze it to see the lies that they're saying do it for a while if you're entertained but don't do it for long right it's just pure bs right like people actually you know i've seen people oh did you hear what trump said oh i don't give a rat's ass what trump said. oh did you hear what biden said i don't give a rat's ass what biden said oh did you hear what the this uh, the 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 federal reserve said no we already know what the federal reserve is going to the banker said no i don't care what the economist this economist that works for the wall street company said no i don't care what they say right i know what their plan is once you know what their plan is you don't need to chase every word they say because you're playing the long game and once you're playing the long game you should be looking for disruptive innovation to take those people out of the game or at least you don't you don't need to participate in their game right and the best way to do that by the way is localization become active in your local community okay in whatever capacity you can is it checking up on your neighbor right checking up with the elderly is it volunteering somewhere is it growing food sharing food is it participating in a uh, CSA community supported agriculture right is it a part of just making sure the community is working okay right like there's a lot of ways you can do this oh, your own interpretation Chicho Rogers well in my humble opinion Ruthius in my humble opinion if you want to use such problematic language you should have a plan oh, okay i'm gonna skip those ones brando hits we just need to see chicho come into frame and change his outside shoes to inside shoes like mr rogers opening <laughs> hilarious chicho's channel is like the good in intent of television to gain knowledge instead of kbps in chill pbs funny funny yeah their plan for us is not good capitalism is taking out uh that we're not consuming uh, da, 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 so much so that they march march us back to work during a pandemic yeah and there's people actually begging like i can honestly say no one knows what's going on right there's people out there rolling the dice saying i know this is nothing how do you know you don't know there are people saying i know this is exactly what it is everybody must be locked up no you don't oh i know exactly what it is they say everybody must be vaccinated no you don't right the absoluteness of people's stupidity is mind-boggling to a certain degree 
But I don't see kids doing that. I see certain people doing that that are older, that are that have everything vested in the system or whatever it is, right? The kids are confused, let's say. Catholic tradition is there are so many opportunities to make your local community better. And as I said in Discord, you need not ask anyone's permission to do so, nor do you need to wait for the right time. The right time is now. And I agree with Catholic traditionalists 100%. 100%. I want to support my local bookstore, but Amazon is so cheap. Oh, the enchantments of Lucifer. Oh, the enchantments of Lucifer. Right? Ruthia Chicho, do you know what makes a joke a bad joke? The answer becomes apparent. What makes a joke? I don't know. UK newspapers are literally telling us to go out and spend. Yeah. And by the way, uh, Weasel, this thing that you said, UK newspapers literally telling us to go out and spend, right? Check this out. After 9 11, when the dust settled, right? Bush Jr., the President of the United States, went on the rubbles of 9-11, right? And he had a firefighter beside him, one of the rescuers beside him, right? And this is after FEMA and everyone. They came out and told rescuers, first responders, that the air was safe to breathe, and they shouldn't have because the air was not safe to breathe, right? But after the dust had settled, the President of the United States went on the rubble of 9-11 and told people it would be okay that they should go shopping so what you just said is the corporate capitalistic wall street system telling people that they need to consume to keep this facade going my first advice to everybody is consume less grow more learn more read more books Educate yourself, right? Stop watching corporate propaganda. Consume less. Let's see what happens with the economy. Let's see what type of disruptive innovation we see pop up. And there's going to be a little bit of growing pains taking place, right? There's no doubt about it. We can't shift gears like this, right? There's going to be a little bit of growing pains. That's part of life, right? Did you, when you were a kid, do you remember going outside running and you fall down and you scrape your knee? Oh, that hurts. You cry, you cry, you cry. You 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 fall down and you put your hands out in gravel and you go scrape your and you look at your hands and there's little bits of rock and gravel in your palms. You're like, oh, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. You run home and you cry. And your parents, your siblings say, it's okay, it's okay. They clean you up. It hurts for a little while. And then you do it again right that's called growing pains we need to go through those growing pains people are a little too soft right now in my opinion okay just saying just saying there's also people with no money left 100 percent, right weasel while ten, tens tens uh of thousands are dying i'd rather not not thanks our family has been growing crops doing woodwork making art programming it's been great weasels yeah you can you can roll this thing into a different way unfortunately there are people friends family or community people who have a real um they were in the re, um retail market right so they were forced to close so they were under a lot of pressure they need to make rent and stuff like this so there are people that were hurt by this there's no doubt about it right but it is what it is right now how do we make sure this doesn't happen again? How do we protect ourselves? How do we become anti-fragile, right? Over 40 see all, over 40 see all, I look God. All right, man, I disagree. Da, da, da. Okay, I'm gonna skip until I see something that's directed towards me. Brandobot, I'm gonna read this, Brandobot. Chicho, we speak as free men. We speak as free men, Elder God, I agree. And everybody here, speak as a free human being, okay? 
Brando hits. I just watched the Simpsons episode where the Mike Tyson character ran a dispensary that was modeled after the Apple Store, and Homer ran a wheat dealing, uh, dealing in the back of um, Moe's Bar, and the bigger company wanted to shut the smaller business business Homer's. It's a satire on big corporations uh, finding loopholes to shut down small business. It's sad monopolies monopolies the united states is not it is a monopolistic system it's oligarchy it's technocracy it's 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 anything but a free market right and all these trillions of dollars that was just given to them man oh man what happened in 2008 when wall street bought out a lot of houses and they created little reits and farmed them out to people at ridiculous rents well, guess what? This is a couple of orders of magnitude bigger than that. Are we going to stand for it? Right? Wait. Scratch that. Sorry, Twitch. What did you say, Brandobot? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Amazon. Hey, but if you got Twitch Prime sub, it's a ding on the Amazon, right? So if you got a Twitch Prime sub, you, uh, you can subscribe to people on Twitch and Amazon flips the bill, right? Everybody that's got a Twitch Prime sub should be subscribing to somebody on Amazon, uh, on Twitch, right? For sure. Make them flip the bill for it. Growing pains hurt. Jackal, your thoughts on communities, community are spot on. In the small Croatian village my mother hails uh, from, there's an in, in in inimitable inimitable sense of purpose and resilience that i wish i could have experienced growing up in london yeah and that's what they've done right wall street basically all these rsps and all these funds and stuff they place themselves between people their wealth and the community right they told people instead of investing in your community put your money in wall street we'll give you a better return right now the return that you get when you invest in your community is not something that Wall Street can measure, right? And it's not something that you can measure relative to Wall Street, right? Because it's priceless. It's not a percentage on your assets. It's stability, right? It's you becoming anti-fragile. That is priceless, right? But people took the poison for the last few decades. What they've done, they've put money in Wall Street instead of putting it into their children, into their community, right? That needs to change, right? Do you like math? I love math. I have grown up, weasels. Oh, I'm going to read weasel. Weasel. Uh, I have grown up outside of most social norms and I've watched a lot of behaviors. None of this is a surprise to me. When I locked down before anyone else, they all pointed and said I was being uh, knee jerk and overreacting, pulling my daughter from school. A month later, they all did the same, either forced or otherwise. This has shown both a huge lack of understanding in the general population, but also shown how quickly things can change. And I am hopeful that now there has been a large upheaval. Yeah, I'm with you, Weasel, right? Now, for me as well, like obviously we mentioned this we were looking at this happening in real time right we started looking at the data and stuff like this now i mentioned during those streams when we're you know in january february that we have a friends gathering that we get together you know planned was we get together often and we share half potlucks and stuff like this and there was one planned and I sort of sent out a little message i held off held off and nothing was going on people weren't really considering canceling us so i sent out a little message saying hey listen gang maybe we should cancel this thing and people weren't really aware of what was going on and people thought i was joking right and then a few days later a week later a week later all of a sudden the government came out and said oh maybe you should stay away from social gatherings and stuff and then people went oh okay we should cancel right now I know that those people that thought I was joking or questioning, asking, how did Chicho know? Right? 
and we've had political discussions they're amazing people great people uh fantastic people well-educated people have are very well embedded within the community really right they they know about the community they support the community it, amazing right but they weren't keeping their eyes on the global front and you can't everybody can't keep their eyes on what's going on geopolitically around the world we're all busy right if you're really focused on the community it's very difficult to realize the hurricane that's coming across the ocean right that's why you need people in different places everybody has their role to play right so you can't look upon people and say they didn't know because everybody can't keep their eyes on everything however once the social activity begins again you have to make it known that there are things taking place that certain people might not be aware of and it is our responsibility to share that information and educate people and go beyond hey this happened why did this happen right so there is you know in a sort of a roundabout way i'm saying that this is a big game long game we're in right now and we need each other to make sure that again we become anti-fragile it will lead to some kind of renewal of social systems 100 percent weasel i agree with you okay america is sort of a plutocracy at this point america is disaster right now man dang joe's america is a technocracy plutocracy it, it's it's every every ism ocracy that is horrendous that is fanatical it belongs to right now it's a disaster right now okay and a lot of western countries are as well when is the time we all grab our pitchforks and erect the uh, uh, guillotines become change you wish to see yeah vc you kid but it might get uh, to that point if things get worse like the french revolution people say i'd be out there with my own pitchfork i don't think violence is the answer to tell the truth okay i don't think so we have to build not destroy they're going to destroy themselves really all all it takes is for the masses not to consume their crap like for example disney not a good company right i don't care what level you are you must know that it's not a good company hollywood stop consuming their crap even though we watch hollywood stuff right but stop giving them money and there's going to be people there that say oh we work in the film industry we work, we need to pay bills we need to pay bills okay you work for the film industry so you have a job therefore people should consume poison because you need to keep your job creating poison if you work in the film industry and i, I might be i might be you know burning some bridges here but sorry it, it is what it is right but what's a what's a movie that was pure propaganda right um, i don't know take your pick there's so many movies that are just pure propaganda so people have worked joe blow's working to make pure propaganda funded by the military industrial complex or the cia to brainwash children right so just because that's their job we should consume that crap to poison our children and destroy other nations by producing propaganda because you need to keep your job hell no go work for independent uh film industry right produce music that doesn't feed rca or sony right so i'm sorry our wallets count for something right if you want to see change be the change you want to see stop consuming their crap now meanwhile keep this in mind i'm live streaming on twitch which is owned by amazon right so i'm contributing a little bit to amazon but that is the platform that we can live stream right now okay there is sometimes no choice as to what you can do people live in places that the only place that they can buy food is a box store chain right don't sacrifice your health your livelihood your family to be hard fast saying no this must be done like this no 
change is going to happen slowly individually our lifestyles don't happen you can't change your lifestyle in one shot you'll break if you're going in a car pedal to the metal right and you slam on the brakes everybody in the car is going to die you don't want to do that you want to slow down take your foot off the pedal take your time right that also includes with the food you eat the entertainment you consume the people you associate with okay brand of what my company a billion dollar company probably received uh, uh the bailouts but haven't bought us employees back yet but that's okay i am freeloading on the government with my unemployment it's sad that i make more with unemployment than my actual job where i struggle to get by also i apologize towards anyone uh who's struggling right now you don't have to apologize uh if they're struggling then uh, they have to reevaluate their lifestyle and the choices they've made and where they put their savings their energy right what type of system are they propping up right i personally have no desire for things to go back to wall street normal i don't normal what normal where we burn the fields of crops of other nations because we can't we were unsuccessful in overthrowing their government and installing puppets in there hell no right chicho sleepy waves mike Vizem, thank you very much for the tier one sub what does modernity mean uh when someone says for example it's just a modernity modernity book uh modernity is just uh, about from one understanding way so you've got to look it up in the dictionary i've come across it but i associate it with just modern things right uh, i don't use it in my vocabulary so if i read anything that really emphasizes that word i look it up in general okay so i'm not a dictionary uh i don't know the inner meanings of words that aren't in my vocabulary right like novelty when i first came across the word novelty and novelty i was first exposed to through terence mckenna right he would give his little talks i would listen to them or whatever this is like 20 years ago he would go novelty 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 and i was like what is he talking about novelty and then slowly i you know i would hear him say it and i would look up the word novelty something new something okay that sounds like the quickening to a certain degree and cooking i had to work uh, uh, learn as well right that was from robert anton wilson to a certain degree and some other future future futurologists sorry if i'm brutalizing that word right and then after hearing the word novelty multiple times and looking it up multiple times it became a part of my vocabulary and i use it now and i use it properly appropriately right words in whatever language you're speaking right now we're english but whatever language you're going to come across new words and languages evolve over time so new words get developed right so it's not enough just to look up the word once and appreciate what it is you have to constantly come back to it so modernity has entered my vocabulary multiple times but it's still not part of my vocabulary uh, that's my long-winded answer to what it means i would have to look it up again and read it in a sentence right Uh, sleepy waves uh, i'll read this as well uh, sleepy wave says chicho violence might not be the answer but it's an inevitable inevitable the system the system is violent to people globally every day uh, sleepy waves i disagree it really depends on where you live right like for me in canada violence is not the option right really it's not it's got to be progressive peaceful community-based change that's going to take place here if I was living in certain other parts of the world, maybe I would have a different opinion, right? But I'm, I don't want to go down that road. Okay. I'm scrolling down. 
Oh, you just asked, uh, was this, you just asked about Amazon Twitch and I just answered that, right? My, my attempt is decentralizing. Chicho, do you still buy Marvel Comics? I've cut back on Marvel Comics. And as of right now, as of pre-pandemic, when everything locked down, I ended all my subscriptions, except for Valiant Comics and the true believers, the $1 stuff and the dollar comics that are coming out. And I know they're not really making money on that, right? They're just doing uh, advertisements, right? So, yeah. I'm taking the poison as well because Disney owns Marvel and I do buy Marvel comics, right? But I'm buying it because it's my passion. It's an investment, right? But it's also something that I've seriously cut back on, okay? So again, it's not something that I can go cold turkey on, right? I've replaced a lot of the heroes and stuff that I follow that I love and loved and still do love right uh through marvel and dc marvel specifically i've cut those back to valiant and independence i buy lots of them i buy by the way just to answer it to you i buy way more independence than i do marvel or dc combined really like the amount of independence i buy is probably at least five times more than dc and marvel combined right so I do what I can. I do what I can. Baked, how are you doing? Welcome to another live stream. Uh, I'm going to scroll down so I can get caught, get caught up with chat. Graham, Catholic traditionalist, thank you for taking care of business. Double time out power. Nice, nice. Uh, I'm just going to scroll down until I see something with my name so I can get caught up with chat. Baked, how you doing? I saw your your comment coming up and again if there's anything I've missed gang please let me know uh, I'm just trying my best to stay with chat oh wow we're almost in two hours crazy don't drink had a fair question don't drink don't drink don't drink wait what is wrong with Disney what is wrong with Disney oh my god uh, where do we go with this uh, what is wrong with Disney's propaganda up the yin yang right I'm unsure with what is wrong with Disney is that the one you're talking about Graham uh, uh, first of all copyright laws right they call it the Mickey Mouse copyright law right like Disney made his for fortunes right really made his fortunes remixing folklore uh, stories that were pre-disney right they bought the rights or they remixed it right revamped it because the copyright laws were uh they were part of the public domain uh it's an honest question is we're talking okay sure we're, we'll we'll talk about it right so disney made his fortunes by taking properties that were created from human history human artifacts from the past right and creating movies television series comic books uh amusement parks or whatever based on human knowledge right they came up with mickey mouse uh, Aladdin, all these things right jungle book and all this thing the seven dwarfs and all these things right and then they came out the and then what they did as the copyright time was running out where stuff was going to come into the public domain right they hijacked the government and they bribed people and the governments passed laws that extended their copyright laws right the copyright hold on strangled hold on human knowledge right to a point that right now through trade agreements the disney model of copyright laws and patent laws and stuff like that that go into this but patents is more associated with technology and whatnot copyright laws are being forced down the throat of other nations because of disney right so human knowledge that should be part of our collective is being sealed up behind doors that we're not allowed to read share use to create anything new because in large part of what disney kicked into effect 
right? F Disney. Okay, really. Disney, it, look into the Mickey Mouse copyright law. I forget what it's called, referred to, right? Aside from that, look at the horrendous type of content that Disney has been creating to brainwash kids, to brainwash people with propaganda. Look at their association with the military industrial complex. Look at what they do in Hollywood. Hollywood is one of the most horrendous, just vile places that, I don't want to say places, but the, the poison that they create and the control that they have over entertainment has really rotted out our civilization, right? It, it, there's a lot to be said on Disney, uh, but I'll leave it there. Like uh, you can look it up. Just look, look up how horrendous Disney is, right? Jackals, out of interest, Chicho. Are you a fan of Judge Dredd? Yes. 80s uh 2000 ad constitutes most of my small class oh that's awesome i don't have the 2000 ad stuff brother uh, i did try to get my hands on the 2000 ad stuff with the first appearance of judge red and whatnot uh and v for vendetta i believe was uh 2000 ad as well but uh i haven't been able to yet maybe maybe someday baked yo chicho i've seen your recent podcast thought i would suggest a website called anchor which allows you to put uh your repodcast on spotify for free oh really not sure if that's something you would be interested in but thought uh, i would let you know um big please let me know on discord and i'll look it up i'm new to the podcasting thing i set it up so itunes would be aware and stitchy would be aware and i looked at spotify but spotify had to it, i couldn't figure it out okay but let me know and i'll and i'll do it if it's simple enough I am on the Disney Channel. Uh -huh. I did background uh, for a show. I got my S A G F A F T R A voucher. Now I can join the union. But I see your point about Disney. Yeah. Dang, how are you doing, Chicho? Do you follow any particular party, uh, or are you maybe nonpartisan? I'm nonpartisan. People uh, don't answer if you don't feel. Uh, please don't answer if you don't feel comfortable. I know partisan can be virtually uh, virulently uh, divisive. Um, I don't. I don't follow any parties. I vote for the individual. Okay. If I see someone speaking truth, I'll vote for them. Okay. I got into comic books for a bit, but it was just so damn expensive indeed, uh, especially for what I viewed as a lack of quality in the writing in said books. Blah, blah, blah. I was uh, doing it through the mail, getting books every month. Yeah. And uh, Chev, uh, that's one of the other problems. There is a comic book company out there, Alterna Comics, that they price their comics between 99 cents to $1.50. They produce good comics on newsprint. If you want to buy cheap comics that are good reads, Ultra Comics. I've read a couple of them. I haven't delved into the universe. They have a lot of comics, right? But good writers, good art, good stories, cheap, right? The other thing you can do is buy used comics, and you can get them cheap. I'm at the end of my ropes, and it's hard to find anything that matters. Hey, wait a second. Did I get kicked up? I got kicked up. I'm rolling all the way down, gang my apologies something happened and i got kicked all the way down disney owned my ass just kidding ba -da -ba -da. oh we're almost to two hours catholic traditionists thank you for timeouts taking care of business some ultra comments are good stuff some ultra saucy rossi hello hello welcome welcome to another stream and some ultra comics are very good stuff i was checking out alterna alterna yeah okay and uh, for me independent comic books right and you can a lot of independent comic books produce trade paperbacks that are on the cheap cheap too right like i bought uh this book i mean it's a thousand pages it's conan and dark horse this is the dark horse collection of conan comics right i believe it's a thousand pages and it ended up costing me like 50 50 bucks right 50 dollars canadian 
So US, it was $30. So, so a thousand page graphic novel of Dark Horse Comics with some of the greatest artists and writers around for $30, right? Not bad, not bad. Like, well worth it, right? Well worth it. Zare, how you doing? How's life? How's Cali holding out? Evening, Chicho. Chicho, I'm sure you might have already discussed this, but what do you think the role influence of Big Pharma had on this pandemic? Horrendous. Horrendous, right? The only thing they talk about is uh, vaccines, right? Meanwhile, they don't, they're not coming out and saying, live a healthy life, exercise. If you're overweight, lose weight if you're smoking stop smoking right the big pharma is one of the greatest evils in our societies period okay period they've destroyed a lot of lives uh been responsible for many deaths right they were one of the, the pharma industry was one of the main industries that was against legalizing cannabis right why because cannabis would take away from their profits the hell with big pharma okay how's the dark horse kona books uh i've read a little bit the people who've read them they say it's amazing right and i've talked to some hardcore conan fans right they say it's some of the best conan stories written that's why i bought this thing because of recommendation right brando it's thank you chicho thank you for the chat chicho and independent is the way to go across the board independent is the way to go across the board right americans are going to have a wake-up call when second wave had a coolio brother some of the things i've seen right now insanity elder god wait are 2000 ad worth much uh some of them are as far as i'm concerned elder god uh they're underpriced really you guys are in the uk i i looked into getting getting my hands on the 2080 collection but the shipping was just kicking it up through the roof it was going to cost me so much for shipping so those of you in the uk if you're comic book collectors i would i would personally if you're looking for investment i would personally acquire a 2080 collection are they gram are they nearly impossible to find oh that's unfortunate i was looking at this stuff like five years ago six seven eight years ago to try to get my hands on 2080 the shipping was just so much i just couldn't do it and i've kept my eyes on it and the, the prices are going above me right now the 2080 stuff is amazing oh elder god you have a hundred plus of them keep them go get yourself bags and boards put them in there put them in there brother for sure for sure do that oh no no put them in there and don't sell them i don't know what numbers you have man but from the 80s yeah 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 and i i still think they're undervalued i haven't checked out the prices for a few months now but i think they're undervalued coolio we're obese because our media doesn't push health like they should and industries pump sugar into all our foods yeah we share blame as well as of course but obesity is one of the leading death causes among covid patients yeah indeed unfortunately this is a great point wouldn't you be surprised if the death rate in america is so high because of the unhealthy unhealthy lifestyle based on fast food culture yeah going to hit bad indeed 1979 to 1988 elder god dude take pics <laughs> let us know what you got 2000 ad came out in uh 75 didn't it when did 2000 ad start i love how everyone's talking about second wave meanwhile the uh case count is accelerating maybe 81 81 okay when shit is the fan i'm gonna hop in my car and head north to Canada. <laughs> i i can i can tell you this right when i went to the comic book store uh, they just opened up this week right so i went there a couple of days ago picked up my comics and whatnot uh went there on friday right we we're talking and the owner and myself we were both in agreement uh canada was going to open up the borders to allow travel between canada and the united states like this week and they they decided to hold off until the end of june 
right? We were both in agreement that I hope it stays closed longer, right? Really, the United States is getting hit hard. Canada, not so much. Our healthcare system cannot afford to get that hit that hard. Okay. You have number one elder god, dude. And it started in 1981, uh, 2000 AD. I thought it was earlier. You have number one. Nice collection, elder god. Nice collection. Hello from Switzerland. Hello, DC. How are you doing? DC 1979. Doom of Malta. I love cola but it's killing me dude stop drinking cola and i'm pretty sure you're probably getting cavities up the yin yang the cases by day show it. how are we doing for time wow we're into two hours gang we're going to be ending in the stream coolio chicho my uh, roommates have been uh, having friends over all weekend and last weekend i'm not sure how to tell them it makes me uncomfortable but one of the friends today was talking about how he thinks everyone's overreacting. Yeah, there's a lot of people thinking that way. The kicker is no one knows what it is. Really, we don't know. We don't know what the effects are, how it's mutating or whatnot. Sleepy waves, have a good night. Uh, so maybe just drop a hint, maybe. I don't know. Canada's healthcare system. Do you like it? I like It's not bad. Unfortunately, it's... Uh, it's overwhelmed right but not because of covid but before covid it was funding running at 120 percent 150 percent that's because of cutbacks and tax breaks to corporations and stuff like this but it's not a bad system it used to be a lot better the canada's healthcare system okay okay gang let's call the stream thank you for being here i'm gonna give you my little ending uh talk that we do um uh, mods thank you for taking care of business by the way first of all there was a lot of action going on thank you for the conversations everyone thank you for being here thank you for participating thank you for the intelligent reasonable conversations that we're having i know we don't all agree on everything but it's good to have these platforms to talk and to share information okay it looks like one person is selling their 2000 ad collection on ebay cheap cheap are they send me a link Graham. send me a link if i can get the funds together um if they're in canada united states i might pull the trigger on it if they're in the uk the shipping will be insane right uh my pleasure gang my pleasure aside from that if you want, want to follow this work i'm on patreon patreon is a fantastic way to support this project okay and that's patreon.com backslash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o i don't put anything behind paywalls you can just follow the work and see what we're up to okay and if you appreciate what we're doing you can decide to support this work if you can we are live streaming this on twitch twitch.tv backslash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e okay and for those that have subbed uh followed on twitch thank you very much it is a fantastic way to support this project and if you want to participate in the chat live as is happening twitch is where you want to be at okay i am active on twitter gavs minds vk and elo and i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live and we do share additional content on those platforms as well and all the links will be in the description of this video and audio because we're recording this that we're going to upload the audios up to soundcloud as podcast and if you want to follow the work on soundcloud it's soundcloud.com backslash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o and you should be able to access these podcasts and other audio files that i'm sharing on soundcloud through your favorite podcasting platform and if you can't find it send me a message and i'll try to make sure it's available there as well and we are uploading these videos to youtube and bitshoot everything goes to bitshoot and everything as much as we can goes to youtube sensors permitting but that's becoming less and less right more stuff is going to be bitshoot exclusives but if you are on youtube you can support this project through youtube membership we just got approved for that at the beginning of this year okay 2020 or kick that into active mode uh, at the beginning of 2020 uh, 
the name of the Conan collection really quick. It's called, it's called, it's called, it's the Dark Horse Conan collection. It's Dark Conan Reader. The Conan Reader. Okay. It's worth picking up. It's if you're in the States, it's $30 for like a thousand pages. Uh, I, I don't know if it's a thousand or not, but it's a fair bit. Okay. There's a lot of stories. And for 30 bucks, well worth it. Well worth it. Okay. Gang thank you for being here thank you for the conversations and i'll see you guys tomorrow at 3 30 p.m to 5 30 p.m ptd time pst time pacific west coast of canada okay that we're going to do a live stream on technology okay i hope you guys have a fantastic evening morning afternoon and i'll see you guys tomorrow if you can make it bye for now gang